This is from the Oxford Math Admission Test back in 2007. Well, we are given two circles and we are going to find the point on this circle which is going to be closest to this circle and we want to find out what point that is. So of course the picture will be really helpful. So let's take a look. First off, here is the picture. And uh, this circle has center at 5, comma 4. So let me just say here is 5 and let's say here is 4. And the radius is 2 because you know 4 is the same as 2 squared. So look at this 2. So here is the center that we have and uh, let me just say this is the picture for the circle All right, it's not a circle but it's a circle all right anyway not funny i know but anyway this right here center is one one and that radius is also one so let's say here is one and let's say here is one and this is a center and of course the radius is also one so we will have a picture looks like this uh yeah yeah circles all right uh, shall we use calculus? Pick a point here and say that's x comma y and no. No. No, not really. In fact, I didn't know how to do this. I saw the solution, which is really cool. It does not involve calculus. Sometimes when you see like biggest, smallest, closest, furthest, or things like that, you might not need to use calculus, alright? Let's see what happens. First off, let's see what's the Mm, if we connect the centers and you can take a look at this as a factor going from here to there all right so that's one way to look at it and if you look at that you see from here to here is four right and then from here to here is three so the factor from here to here you can look at this from here to here right if you look at this direction you will be negative four and go down so it's negative four comma negative three like so Cool. And then you see that the length, like this, right here, from here to here, is 5. So that's pretty good. Well, the idea is that in order to have a point, well, it's pretty obvious now, I will say, the point is going to be right here, right? This point is going to be the closest to that circle. And uh, if you want to uh, do more to prove this, you can say... Just do get the terms. I don't really want to use calculus, but just trust me, this right here, it will be the closest to that circle. And leave a comment down below if you have any like geometric reasoning for that. So we just have to find out that point. And it's actually not bad now. It's actually not bad now. Why? Because you know that's the direction, and the coordinate here is 5, 4. So we just have to start at 5, 4. And we have to travel, right, from here in that direction, but for how long? If you travel all the way, of course, you get to the center, but you don't want to do that. You just want to travel, um, what's this? From here to here, it's precisely the radius of the first circle, which is 2. So you just want to travel 2 fifths of the distance, so you can get to the edge of the circle. Well, not edge of the circle, but you know what I mean. So we just have to add, let's say, 2 fifth, right? 2 fifth. Sorry, the other way. 2 fifth. So I'll just say plus 2 fifth and uh, uh, multiply by that factor, which is negative 4, negative 3, and just go ahead and work that out. So let's see, this is 5, comma 4, and then we add it with, oh uh, man. Uh, this is 0 0.4, so multiply it by that, we get negative 1.6, and then multiply that, we get negative 1.2, and just go ahead and do it. So we get 3, 4, no, sorry, 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 3.4, comma, and uh, we get 2.8. Let me check my arithmetic. I think that's correct. So this right here will actually give you that point. And that's it. This is a solution that they have. And it's really, really cool because I was going to use calculus. And the way that I would do it is pick a point that I said earlier and I'm going to call that x comma y. And then I'm going to just look at the distance from here to here. And the moment I did that, I immediately regret because, yeah. Yeah, don't do that. 
I was trying to write the distance between this point and then any point on the circle and then try to do the derivative. Just don't do that. This is so, so, so much better.